All right, so I'm on my way to the river and I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video here. Maybe we'll catch a couple fish tonight. But anyways, I uh, get a lot of personal messages and emails about my videos and people ask about the secret to catching big catfish. Well, a lot of things that go into catching big catfish, but uh, the biggest thing I gotta say is time on the water. It all comes down to time on the water. You can have all the best gear, all the best baits, fish all the best spots, but if you don't put your time in, uh, you're just not going to catch fish consistently. Anyone can go out and catch a big catfish, but in order to do it consistently, you just got to spend a lot of time on the water. So uh, really, you can't beat sitting out on the water. Even if the times you don't catch fish isn't a bad thing because you're learning what not to do. <laughs> so uh, anyways, one of the things that goes into spending a lot of time on the water is just being close to the river. and. Uh, what you'll see here is I'm actually on my way down and one of the things that really helps me a lot is I, I live right by the river so uh, a lot of times we we use this launch right by my house just because it's pretty convenient for me and uh, as you'll see here I'm, I'm gonna be at the river here shortly I left I started this video at my house and I'm gonna be here you know in, in uh, 30 seconds or whatever so um, it also helps to have a partner that goes with you a lot and he uh, he fishes more than you do so in other words, uh, he's pretty much ready to go uh, at a moment's notice. In fact, I just texted John here uh, a couple hours ago and said, you in? He's like, he's like yep, I'm in. So uh, anyways, it's kind of ironic. Uh, last night I was going to go out and I looked at the radar and there was a big red patch of rain coming at us and it didn't look very good. So I said I'm out for tonight and uh, John went out anyways. And, him and Josh went out and caught a couple of fish and it barely rained and uh, go figure today there was no rain scheduled and uh, it looks like we're gonna get rained on so I I just I really hate the weatherman I really do because you just can't plan on anything at any rate we're probably gonna get a little rain tonight but uh, I don't think it's gonna be bad I don't see any red on the radar um, mostly greens so might get some a few sprinkles we got the umbrellas to, to uh, keep us dry <laughs> At any rate, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm at the river here now. It took about uh, two minutes. I expect John's going to be here already. And as expected, there he is. I was just explaining how ironic it was that I stayed home to stay out of the rain last night, and now tonight yeah. it's going to rain. Now it's like, <laughs> looking at the radar, it's a 110% chance. We didn't even make it to the spot. It started raining. As expected, it's raining. I got my umbrella though, I'm comfy. This spot looks money. We got pretty high water right now. Normally this isn't really even fishable, this spot, but these creeks are kind of money in the spring for a number of reasons. Yeah, and there's only so many creeks, so it's not like we're giving up anything secret by showing a creek. Or... Right. <laughs> these, uh, these creeks do a few things. Current break, bait, and the fish just kind of go up and spawn in the spring, so yeah, yeah. a little temperature kind of gradient, a, a little temperature gradient yeah. too. So Trifecta. Yep. Six pound or six inch. I was gonna say six pound. Yeah, six pound bullhead. Six inch bullhead. Oh, hold that for a second. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna show you his magic secret on how to hook them. Seven. Oh yeah. Like I said, lots of secrets in this game. Stab him in the back. Seven out kill. <laughs> and Select chuck it. it. Got to get the leaves on his snout though. There, that's that's the trick. Oh, that's like extra scent. That's yeah. awesome. That's some of that um, rotting vegetation from the bottom of the boat. I think <laughs> that should be good. Probably got some crawler residue. Well, John took the magic spot, so uh, I did. I'm right in front of those roots over there. We're gonna go just to the right hand a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yep, anything coming upstream that's just looking to creep around the corner into the creek for a quick meal. It's gonna run into those two baits on that back edge. Check out my new uh, Okuma Komodo. It's kind of a beast. I've never used a low profile reel like that, but. Looks a little uh, professional <clears throat> bass fisherman ish. It does. It's a little more than you should have for catfishing, but whatever. It's got a clicker on it. I don't like the clicker really, it's a little light. I'd like to have it a little tighter, but whatever. We'll see. All right. So yeah, remember I was talking about time on the water? Well, we just uh, sat through a nice little rainstorm and we just 
do random shit, you know? John takes pictures all night. <laughs> it's something to do. <laughs> you gotta pass the time and wait for the fish to bite. I don't know. I'm sure we'll be doing other goofy stuff all night. Hopefully a fish bites. Tell you what, my bullhead is uh, pretty frisky. Go. Got some pretty cool clouds going on today. Some great scenery. Another thing we do when we're passing time. Of a monster that lives at Palouse Falls. Multiple a long cut angling. Claim to have been attacked. Sightings of an eel like dragon. Sightings of an eel-like dragon. Sightings of an eel-like dragon. <laughs> what? <laughs> and the occasional glance to the rods. No concept of what would be here, how many people would be here, and it's crazy. There's cars and human beings, tourists. It's like Aaron's fishing a waterfall. Falls yet. So I've got a bit of a hike ahead of me, and I have not talked to anyone that has made this hike. So I don't know what kind of fish are at the bottom. I don't know how extreme the hike is. Luckily, I do have my good hiking sandals, Shimano Crocs, and I got my rattlesnake proof pajama pants. And since I don't have a backpack, I'm going to have to use my babe pillow through my fishing gear and camera gear down there. That's nasty. <laughs> Deal with it. Look at that. The clouds are just spectacular tonight. Still waiting to set the hook on a fish, though, but hey. Look at some clouds. Yep. That thing just got smashed. Just rattled it in the rod holder. Hopefully it's still there. Got the yep. cool clouds there. going tonight. He's there. Yep, he's there. Oh, he was there. I think I pulled it out of his... Oh, he dropped it. Oh, oh. denied. Next time. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> oh, talk about a mangled bait. Oh my gosh. Completely wrecked. That might have been a walleye, actually. It could Look have at been the a rash walleye. on the back, though. No, I think that was a Look flat. Look at this. He's been uh, oh my disemboweled. Gosh. Wow. That's a train wreck. It might have been a turtle. I think that might have been a walleye, actually. Wow. He... Oh, he's still good. Throw him back out there. <laughs> yeah? Yep. Got rocked. Yeah, it did. I might, uh, I, like it. I might have to grab the net, huh? What was it? Could you tell? Looks like it might be. Uh, oh, it's a tail wrap channel. It might be hooked for you. It's a big channel. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's tail wrapped. That's why it felt so weird. Oh, yeah. he's not even so, not uh, even that big. That's well, still a nice fish, decent. though. Yeah. Everyone asks if channels will eat live bullheads. Well, there you go. That one rocked to that live bullhead. It's a pretty big channel. Nice. You want me to net him or not? No, I'll get it. Yeah, we've caught a bunch of channels on bullheads. I've caught sheephead on live bullheads. That's a decent channel. Yeah. Big old head on them. It's a decent fish. Actually, you know what? You might measure him up. Maybe I'll measure him. Yeah, he might count. He might count for the old king of the cats. It's going to be right. hard to compete with the... Uh, Colorado boys, though, they've been putting up some pretty big fish. Oops. Throw them on the bump board. Yeah, the nice roll away bump board, those are nice. <sighs> Looks like he's about 28 or 29. He's got a real big head on him. 29. They can squeeze a half out of him. 29 and a half.
How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? According to Wikipedia, the name woodchuck is unrelated to wood or chucking. It stems from an Algonquian or Narragansett name for the animal. So there's that. There's that. So there's yeah. that. <laughs> can we play the name game? All right, tell me the name to use. Chuck. Sure. <laughs> chuck, chuck, bo, buck. Banana, fana, fo, <laughs> <laughs> she believes it. <laughs> Rich. Sure. Rich, rich. Oh, bitch. Hey, she got Banana that out. Banana, fo, fitch. Fee, fi, mo, mish. Rich. She didn't bleep out bitch. <laughs> oh, that's... It's not a good sign. This is what we do at night when there's nothing going on. It's pretty slow. Pretty slow. Oh, we finally got hit here. John was on the phone. Phone fish. Just like that. Just like that. That was a good hit. Oh. Oh, son, <laughs> son. One minute, there's nothing going on. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Just talking about how slow it was. There you go. Line, it's another channel. Oh my gosh, that's a monster channel cat. Here, I'll get the net. Oh. Holy. <laughs> I thought I was just about to get it figured out, too. Holy! Oh, no, let's not net him. That's going to make a mess. Let me just get the gripper on him. <laughs> I just about lost everything right there. <laughs> just stop, dude. Man, that thing's fat. Holy cow. That's a nice one. That's awesome. Measure that one? Nah, I don't do channels. <laughs> I don't do channels. <laughs> Want a picture of it? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's like 32 inches. Gone. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. That's the secret to catching big flatheads. <laughs> Sit out here all night and uh, get skunked and catch a couple channels. And then tomorrow you catch the big flathead. <laughs> or the next day. <laughs> Time on the water. Probably get skunked, yeah. Might get skunked next night or the next night. But that's the big secret. Just come out here and spend time on the water.